Hey guys, Top Bob's here, and we're back over at the post office again because we had another package coming that I was really excited about. It's actually right here. We're gonna be showing this off when we get back to the studio. Um, I just wanted to grab this real quick because this is something pretty awesome. It's a new Funko line that I'm really excited about. But anyways, guys, let's get started. Alright guys, so I have the package here. I'm really excited to open this up for you guys because this has, like I mentioned, the new line of Funko figures inside of it. And this is going to be some pretty cool stuff. These are figures also that I don't think I've ever seen a company make something like this before. So I'm really excited to see what these look like and how big they are because this is a new line that I've literally never seen in stores before. It's starting to just hit like some box lunches is what I've seen. So yeah, this is really excited to open these up. Also, before we get into it, I want to thank Rob, Grant, and Audrey for helping me out with this because they, if you guys don't know, I've talked about them before, but they help me out with stuff around the HQ, whether it be exclusive to there or something that comes out early, or sometimes they get in like exclusives that sell out near me, but then, um, you know, the HQ gets in a couple of them and then they'll be there to grab me a couple things. So really nice of them to do that. And thank you guys so much for this. But yeah, guys, let's get into this to see what these things look like. All right. So here are my first impressions on just the boxes and what they look like, or well, you guys will see. All right. Let's see what these things look like. All right, let's show these things off. So here's one of them. We've got the Funko Soda figures is what they're called. And this one right here is Jabberjaw. Now that is really neat. So we've got Jabberjaw here. We have Lino right there. That's the next one. And then we have, what do we got here? Huckleberry Hound. That's really cool. So there's Huckleberry Hound. We have Crusader Rabbit. That's a neat one. Um, now, I will talk about these after because there are some special things that wi are with these figures that are pretty different in terms of like a pop or a mystery mini. So guys, then we have the Count Chocula there. That one's pretty cool. And then last but not least, we have the big boy right there. That one's really nice. Oh, hold on, can't forget the letter. It says, Tristan, good luck, pull some chases. Rob Grant and Audrey. Now, I do want to mention there, yes, it did say chases. Also, he threw in the Funko HQ bag, which I love. Um, this is really great. Thank you guys so much for throwing this in. I, I only have one or two of these, so it's really nice to have another. I don't think I have on this size, uh, but I do like to have the bags because it's fun to do them with like thumbnails and stuff like that. But let's check this out here, guys. See what these look like inside. But before I do that, I want to mention each of these characters are limited piece counts. Like sometimes with pops, it'll just say whatever. Like it'll be like uh, Post Malone. They make like say, uh, I don't even know. Say, I don't know. I'll give you a number like 50,000. I don't know what they make, but let's just give that as the number. But then for these here, I'll show it with the Count Chalk they only made 7,500 of this figure and you guys can see it right there and then also each figure has a chase as well so there's also a chase version of each one for example for the example of this one um, it's a blue version of the Count Chocula so each one is different and I'm really excited to check it out and see what each of these are um, what they look like like what what they feel like as well because I don't know if they're going to be like kind of like lighter plastic or like a, a heavier kind of figure I don't know so let's just get started with these here guys um, and then also we're going to see if we get the chase um, and there's also a disc that comes inside of these as well and the disc will tell you uh, if it's the chase and what it's limited to because some of the figures are earmarked for the chase figure so if it says 7,500 it's more probably like 6,500 I don't know exactly what it would be because uh, but it's something like that where it's like the chase is say maybe a thousand of them and then this figure is like says 6,500 so let's start with this one here though guys I don't actually know how to open this yet um, so maybe it's just you take the uh, the wrap off of it because it's like shrink wrap so let me do that first and then we'll figure it out okay i think it's just this and then you open the can so it looks like it it does it unscrew hold on okay i'm figuring this out with you guys here because i don't know Ooh. okay so there it is there guys that's when you open it also it's a metal top on here as well i believe the whole case is metal so it's like a uh tin which is really cool now here is the figure all right so let's see which one we got i'm kind of excited about this so this is the first ever funko soda figure opened up on the channel so let's see what he looks like Ooh, it even comes bubble wrapped on the inside. That's nice because it is metal. You don't want it to ding around in there. Um, it looks like we got the common version of Count Chocula. Um, so there's this right here here let's see what it looks like okay this is cool okay so here is count chocula now this one is also like a stylized figure where it has their own kind of um you know details to it where it's like a longer head the smaller black eyes like that um but i am really excited about these it's like pops in the sense where it's like it's a different figure it doesn't look exactly like the character but you know exactly who it is when you see it kind of thing now each of these also come with the uh, little um disc in the bottom and i want to show that off as well these are just like little um like cardboard discs, but I'm gonna keep them inside of the tins when I get these. Um, so this one here, guys, like I mentioned, it's a one in 6,300 
um, Count Chocula. So the other one would be 1,200 if you were to try and get the Chase one. So there it is right there, guys. There's the Count Chocula, and then there's the other side as well, if you guys want to see. So they come with these. They're really neat, actually. I'm a big fan of these. I love how different this is, too, um, for a Funko figure. But anyways, guys, there's the first one. We got Count Chocula, the common version, but still cool. Now, let's see this one here. Crusader Rabbit, I believe, is the rarest figure out of all of them. This one's limited to 5,000. So we're going to see the Chase version here, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, is just a blacked out version of the the suit of armor, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So we'll have to check this one out here, see what we got. But let's see. Okay, here we go. I'm not going to look in the bottom because last time I did look in the bottom and I saw the, uh, the little disc, so it'll tell you if it's a Chase on there or not. But I really just saw the... The, the side with Count Chocula, but let's see what we got here. Really tightly packed in there. Hmm. <gasps> did, did, did we get what I think we got? <gasps> Hold on. Okay, guys, so there's the Crusader Rabbit right there. Now, if you guys can tell, I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, this is the Chase one. Let's see this here. <gasps> we got the chase! Oh my gosh! Okay, guys, this is the Black Armor Crusader Rabbit 1 in 800. <laughs> Look at that! Okay, guys, so there's the blacked out Crusader Rabbit right there. That's neat. This is the rarest figure, I think, so far. And then, guys, it says on the thing, you found the chase, and it's 1 out of 800. And then there's the Crusader Rabbit um, disc right there. That is neat. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Okay, I'm liking this so far. And I especially like it that every single one has a chase version. And they might just be small things that are different with them, but they are different in the fact that, you know, this one, instead of having the silver kind of like metallic suit of armor, he's got a blacked out suit of armor. Now that is cool. One in 800. Okay. That's a nice figure. Now, let's get on to the next one here. Let's do Huckleberry Hound, um, because I'm really excited to see what's inside us now. Oh, I'm excited. This is, getting, this is starting off good, actually. Um, so here, let me open this one up, because it's going to take a second. All right, I'm getting the wrapping off here. Now, this is Huckleberry Hound. This one's limited to 6,000, um, so we're going to have to see what we get inside of this one. Okay, fingers crossed it's a chase one. I mean, I'd love that. I mean, I don't want to get my hopes up, because I did just get a chase one, but if we did get one, that'd be pretty neat. Okay, so I think the normal one's blue, and then, so yeah, okay, so we just got the normal one on this. I mean, I'm not expecting to get chases over and over again, but uh, we did get just the normal Huckleberry Hound here, which looks really great. Okay, this one's, this one's nice. I do love this figure. Um, so this one does say Funko LLC 2020 now. It's cool. So these were supposed to come out this year. Um, I know some of the pops still say 2019 on them, but this one here says 2020. So these are all new for this year, like I mentioned. But that Huckleberry Hound does look really great. I'm a big fan of that one. So there's that figure, guys. And oh, let's check the disc out as well, actually, before we continue. Um, so the Huckleberry Hound, this is a one in 5,000. So there's the thousand um, chase version ones there. You guys can see there's the back. It says one out of 5,000. And then on this side, it has the Huckleberry Hound face which is really great. I'm, like I said, a huge fan of these. I'm probably going to be getting as many of these as possible, like getting one of each. Um, not getting all of the Chase versions because that's going to be crazy, but if I can, whenever, I'll just buy one, and then if I get the Chase, I get the Chase. Kind of like Crusader Rabbit there, but yeah, that's exciting. Okay, so now let's check out this one here, guys. We've got Jabberjaw. This right here is a 1 in 6,000, so there should be a 1 in 5,000 common, and then the 1 in 1,000 chase. Now, I'm going to have to start to figure out these numbers here, because it's I think it's a 1 in 6, so I'll have to figure that out. Also, all of the sculpts so far are the same. Okay, so here is the common Jabberjaw, if I'm not mistaken. Let's check this out here. Okay, guys, so there is the Jabberjaw. That's a nice figure. I do like that one a lot. That one looks really great. So there's Jabberjaw. Now, let me check this to see if it is the common one. Yeah, this is a 1 in 5,000 Jabberjaw. So there he is right there, guys. This is the Jabberjaw. And then on the back, as you can see, it's the 1 in 5,000. So really great one. I do like this one a lot. It's really, it's really detailed. I also like that they added these to tell you if it's the chase or not. So if you didn't know... Um, when you're opening these up, it'll say, hey, you got the chase, like that kind of thing, instead of trying to guess if it is the chase one, because, you know, people might not know. But it's whatever's on the back of the can as well, guys, is the common version. So I can show you here, actually. This is the normal Crusader Rabbit there on the back. Do you guys see that there? It's got the silver suit of armor, where this one here is the blacked out version. But let's get on to this, guys. We've got two more here. Let's do Bob's Big Boy last, because that's the one I'm most excited about. But we're doing Lino, which is a 7,500 pieced character. Um, so there's a better chance of getting the chase in this one. I'm not going to look in the bottom again, because I don't want to know if it's the chase or not. But let's see here. Okay. Ooh, who do we get? Okay, so it looks, I'm guessing this is just the 
common one. I think so. Here's Lino right here, guys. A really, really great figure. Uh, but yeah, there's Lino right there. Um, I, I think it's the normal one. Let me check, though. Yeah, this one is the common Lino. It's a 1 in 6,300 um, because it is a 7,500 character. So there is 1,200 different um, Chase ones out there somewhere. Uh, but anyways, guys, there's that right there. Really excited about this one. Now, let's do the Bob's Big Boy. This one right here is pretty exciting. It's the last one out of this one that I got. Now, this here is a 1 in 7,500. The normal one is the red suit. The chase one is the blue suit. And then the shirt would be red. So it's like inverted colors on this. I'm not going to look in the bottom. I'm excited. I don't want to look in the tin because you can tell in the bottom. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Fingers crossed. Okay, no. So we did just get the common one, but... I would say the chase one that we got is probably the coolest one because it is the rarest one possible so far, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but there is the Bob's Big Boy, um, Bob, well, Bob from Bob's Big Boy. Anyways, it's the common one is what I'm trying to say here. So there it is right there, guys. Really awesome set of figures. I love these things. I think this is giving Pops a run for his money. I will say that I think they're really great because it is, it's the same company. So Funko is like competing with themselves here for me anyways. Uh, but there's the Bob's Big Boy on that side. And then on the back, as you can see, it is the thousand, uh, one out of 6,300, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. So there's that again. But I will say guys, these are ones that, like I said, I'm going to be collecting a lot of. I liked to collect the Pez as well as these now and the Pops. So I'm going to be trying my best to get as many of these as possible. I'm going to be keeping the cans as well. And they do stack, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they stack pretty well too so if you wanted to display the cans because they are like metal tins it's actually really nice so there it is right there guys that's pretty much going to do it for today uh, what was your favorite out of these six here i also have i believe 13 more coming so we're going to be doing another video on these soon so get excited about that because i have them all pre-ordered at gamestop so i think they're going to be coming in um late february early march i think it was something around there uh, but i'm really excited about those but that's gonna do it for today hope you guys enjoyed if you want to see more from me in the future don't forget to like comment subscribe do all that but this has been another episode of top pops popsters thanks for watching see you guys tomorrow